This is the BQ24650 MPPT module that I got from eBay and uh, showed in an earlier mailbag video. I paid approximately $12 for this module and there seems to be two versions, a green and a blue one with some minor improvements for the green one which seems to be the latest version. Apparently these are made by YZ Tech Studio, a company from China which is uh, uh, also known for making a variety of uh, USB power analyzers um, and they are quite nice and uh, popular even on the EV blog forum. You might ask yourself what is uh, MPPT? Well, MPPT stands for Maximum PowerPoint Tracking and it's a technique used for photovoltaic panels as well as wind turbines to maximize their power output. For example, each solar panel will output a maximum power on certain conditions, certain amount of light hitting the panel and a certain load on its output. As the amount of sunlight varies, the load characteristic that gives the highest power transfer efficiency changes. And here the MPPT technique comes in and constantly adjusts the uh, load characteristics such as to maintain the highest transfer efficiency. The BQ24650 from Texas Instruments is actually a battery charge controller with integrated MPPT algorithm. So this module stands between the uh, solar panel and the battery and while charging will constantly adjust the load on the solar panel to maintain the highest transfer efficiency for that particular solar panel in those particular working conditions. The way it does this is by looking at the input voltage coming from the solar panel and uh, if that voltage goes below a set point it means the solar panel is overloaded and will get less energy out of the system. It constantly adjusts the load to maintain that set point voltage at the input. Let's take a closer look at the datasheet for some of the highlights. So we see it can handle 5 to 28 volts input from solar panels. It works at 600 kilohertz in a uh, synchronous back uh, controller topology that means high efficiency and compact size. It supports various uh, chemistries like um, uh, lithium ion, lithium polymer, lithium ion phosphate and uh, lead acid. So you get a great choice of batteries with this uh, charging module. It's got important safety features like um, uh, input over voltage protection, battery temperature sensing, uh, battery absence detection and thermal shutdown. Uh, it also uh, has uh, LED uh, status outputs, so you don't necessarily need a processor to get uh, the status info from this chip. You can just use some LEDs on the PCB and that is always nice to find in an IC. And it's also got a very low power consumption because while this is not getting any uh, energy from the solar panel, you don't want this thing draining your battery. So this thing will consume less than 15 microamps from the battery. Now, if you look on the internet, this thing will come with uh, limited Chinglish instructions. So I did some translation and uh, filled in some info from the datasheet to get a usable English user manual for this module. There will be a link in the description for a PDF as well as links where you can get the module on eBay. So let's take a closer look uh, on this uh, translated manual. Uh, I've put in some of the, the specs and the uh, status LED um, info. There are also some warnings. The module doesn't have reverse polarity protection. So if you are to connect uh, the battery or the solar panel in reverse polarity, uh, smoke will come out of the module. It's not recommended for charging uh, nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride battery packs. And it's also not recommended to charge unprotected lithium cells because if something is incorrectly configured, we all know uh, how a lithium cell can catch fire from overcharging, for example. There are a few steps for configuring this module and it's easy to do that by using an adjustable bench power supply. First, you'll need to know the maximum power point voltage for your solar panel and you get that from the datasheet of the solar panel. In my case, let's assume I have a 12 volt uh, solar panel. So next you set that voltage on your bench power supply and you connect that to the input of the module. And I've done that with the red and black wire on the left of the module. 
You also need a multimeter on the uh, output of the module to measure the output voltage. You don't have any battery connected. Next, you need to adjust the MPPT pot, which is this one on the left, until you get 0 volts on the output. Then you slowly adjust counterclockwise until you get some voltage on the output and stop immediately. And if you went too far, you can back off maybe half a turn and still have that uh, voltage on the output. Depending on how the uh, charging voltage potentiometer is adjusted, you might be seeing the red LED flashing or not. It's not mandatory. If the voltage you see on the output right now is fluctuating between, uh, let's say, 7 and 8 volts, the final charging stop voltage will be 8 volts. You can use the min max function on your multimeter to capture the maximum value, which will be your final uh, stop charge voltage. So in my case, uh, I have 7.83 volts. And by adjusting the uh, charging voltage pot, which is this one on the right, if I go clockwise, I can increase that stop voltage, as you can see on my multimeter, but I can only go uh, as far as the input, because I have a 12 volts input, I will not be able to go higher than uh, 12 volts. So let's say I want a 9 volts stop charge voltage. That's it. I have right now configured this module for a 12 volts uh, maximum power point and a 9 volts uh, stop charge voltage. The charging current is set by the current shunt resistor value and by default the, the module is shipped with uh, a value that uh, will allow 5 amp charging current. But you can change that by changing the shunt resistor value. You should closely monitor the battery voltage for the first charge to make sure the module was adjusted correctly and it doesn't overcharge your battery. If the charging voltage is too high, there is a risk of fire or explosion from overcharging the battery. You also get two small pads for soldering in a 10K thermistor for the battery over temperature protection, but you'll have to read the uh, datasheet for the exact details on that feature. The designers of this module are also giving us some uh, reference charging voltages for various chemistries and numbers of cells. And uh, they give you some numbers for uh, lithium, uh, for lithium ion, for lithium ion phosphate, lead acid, for different number of cells. But this is uh, info that you should already know or uh, info that you should be able to find easily um, by searching it. They also included some um, thermal images with the module running full load. On its own, we can see it will get uh, quite hot, uh, reaching about 82.5 degrees C on the uh, switching MOSFET for, um, uh, for 5 amps, the maximum charging current. But there are exposed uh, PCB pads on the back of this, uh, this board that you can use for um, transferring heat to a heat sink. One way to do that would be to use a piece of um, a thermal pad on the back of this uh, PCB just to isolate electrically all the pads on this PCB from the heatsink to avoid uh, causing any short circuits. And then you can attach this whole module to a heatsink and that will provide adequate cooling even when uh, running at uh, the maximum current of uh, 5 amps. Overall, I think it's a nice module, the price is not bad either, and you can use it to improve the efficiency of your small solar system without any headache. A link for this uh, module for eBay will be in the description below, and as usual, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.